This video looks at some of the key settings if a project is being commissioned in Envision Project and then being managed using Envision Manager. One of the main tabs within the Envision Manager client is the sitemap. The information displayed is based on the plan view that is created in the Envision Project file. When viewing the sitemap, notice the control options allow the user to remove or add layers to the sitemap. Devices will show any physical components within the project. In Envision Project, to display the devices in the sitemap, drag the device from the Network or Physical View tab. Fixtures represent the physical light fittings within the project so it is essential that these are added to the plan view to give a clear graphical representation. Correct selection of fixtures is also vital in regard to lamp life. Regions are required to control specific areas of the project and allow you to take advantage of controlling presets through the sitemap view. Lines will display any fixture groups, DALI or dinette lines that have been drawn on the plan. This is recommended to see how all of the components of the project are physically wired and is an excellent resource for problem solving. Text is a useful resource for putting important information onto the sitemap. Adding all of these elements is part of the Envision Project Level 1 training. If you are unsure about adding any of these features, it is recommended that you consult the Envision Project video on graphical commissioning. Copy and paste or click on the link that you now see on screen to take you straight to the video. To assist with the management of lamp failures and replacement when adding fixtures to your plan, a fixture can be linked to a specific profile. The fixture profile can contain manufacturer details and then be aligned with a load profile to determine the lamp life. In Envision Project, highlight the project name. In the Properties menu, select Fixture Profiles. A list of default profiles is already present. Click on Add. Name the profile Project Lamp and then enter key information like description and manufacturer. The icon can be changed if required. This will represent the physical fixture in the plan view. We must now decide on the load profile. Click on load profile. A list of defaults already exist. The information that Envision Manager uses is the lamp life hours. We will use the Power Balance Profile. Click back to the Fixtures Profile and select Power Balance from the list of Load Profiles and link it to our new Project Lamp Profile. To add these fixtures to our project, we return to the Plan View. We add our new Fixture Profile to the toolbar by clicking on Add and then choosing our project lamp. Our project lamp is now on the toolbar and can be dragged onto the plan where it is required. Next we will focus on emergency lighting. If you have any DALI emergency lighting in your project, the emergency groups must be defined in Envision Project. With your project selected in the View column, Select the DALI Emergency tab in the Properties menu. 
select add group to create a new group and then select add ballast to choose the fittings for the group these will now appear in Envision Manager allowing schedules to be created and tests to be run via the Envision Manager client. With a large project commissioned with Envision Project it could be split over multiple levels or areas. So it is important to consider how that will be managed through the Envision Manager client. One suggestion is to define a clear folder structure in your Envision project file which will then be replicated in Envision Manager. Navigate to the Physical View tab in Envision Project. The project on screen will be divided into two sections. First we add two new folders calling one Main Levels and the other Other Levels. We drag the DALI and ground floor plans under the main levels folder. Finally we move the office level under the other levels folder. When the database is saved and updated, returning to the Envision Manager client, notice the folder structure can be seen under the console, sitemap and LAMP Manager Views. A final note with Envision Project. Once a project has been saved as a database file, any changes or additions to a project that have to be completed in Envision Project must be done with that database file. To open the database file in Envision Project, select File, Open, Open Database, then point to the correct Envision Manager server and choose the right database. Finally, click on OK. Make sure all changes are then saved and the database is updated via the Envision Manager configuration tool. For any queries on the process, please contact technical support. That concludes the video on Envision Project preparation for Envision Manager.